It is January the 27th, and we're the north end of Lake Simcoe, and we've been testing the ice every day since open water, which is basically January the 23rd, not that long ago. We've uh, made some good ice. We started with one inch, went to two and a quarter inches, all the way up to three inches, and uh, another three quarter inches after that. Then we had snow. And we had about three to four inches of snow. It's rather light snow, but it certainly will have an effect on ice making. It was minus 12 last night. And so we'll check the ice and just see what effect three or four inches of snow has on new ice. Well, as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day out here. And it was cold last night, got down to about minus 12 Celsius. Um, if you've been watching the progression of the ice growth that I've been doing for the last week or so, you'll know that we started with one inch and then a minus 12 night we got to two and a quarter inches and then almost up to uh, three inches. So I'm going to drill a hole now and uh, just see how much ice we made considering we also had three inches of snow. It's light snow but it does act as an insulator. Did you ever head out on a snow-covered lake on a bright sunny day? You get to your spot, you drill a hole, set up your sonar, watch as your bait drops near the bottom, all of a sudden something comes rocking up and smashes your bait. You ice your first fish, you think, wow, this is going to be a great day. Drop your bait down again, and nothing. One of the reasons could be the light. That beam of light that shoots down, that can be seen for a long way. Light attracts curious fish and it puts a spotlight on your bait. Remember, most freshwater fish are sight feeders. Falling baits in a spotlight is the perfect reaction situation. This typically works best in water from 20 to 40 feet deep. If it's too shallow, there's too much noise and commotion. If it's too deep, the light won't penetrate far. So if you don't get your second fish within 20 minutes, time to move. It might be time to go create another light beam. Blades are actually razor sharp, just a lot of ice on them. Now the first thing that I noticed is that the water didn't come up over top of the ice, so there's not didn't create a lot of weight, this snow. Fairly light snow. Get a nice clean spot. So we're almost exactly at four inches. So in spite of the snow, I guess it was cold enough last night to make a little bit of ice anyway. Um, so we'll check the progression, uh, hopefully every day. <laughs> 